Minecraft Java Edition is arguably better than Bedrock Edition because of its amazing mod support. However, some people prefer or have to play games with the controller, whether it's for a disability reason or whether it's for the fact they just prefer it. You need this to be able to play a game. Well, this video and this mod controllable from Mr. Crayfish kind of allows that. It allows you to use one of three controllers, an Xbox One controller like I have here, a Sony PS4 controller, or a Switch Pro controller to play Minecraft Java Edition. And honestly, it's really cool. It has things like on-screen button hints and the ability to remap every single button and a new radial menu that binds multiple actions into one button. It's really great for accessibility and that's what I love so much about controllable here. But uh, we're gonna show you exactly how to get it in this video. First thing you wanna do is go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is the controllable download page where we wanna come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section. Then click on the controllable download file button here to the right of this version, that little download file button. Click on that and the download will begin right like so. Now, after a few seconds, the download will come and the bottom left of Minecraft, right there it is. In the bottom left, you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Before we move on to getting forged though, we do have to keep the lights on around here. So thanks to Apex, Minecraft hosting for sponsoring this video. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting. They are truly the best host around. That's why we recommend them and work with them. So check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, controllable is downloaded, but we need Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows controllable to work in Minecraft. So you can find Forge in the description down below, of course, and it will take you here where we can scroll down and click on the green download Forge button. By the way, this is our in-depth guide for Forge, so should you have any issues, this is where you can come to look. Now let's go ahead and click on the download Forge button there to go off to Forge's official download page, where we want to make sure MC 1.19 is selected. As you can see, it's not, so we want to click on 119 on the left-hand side, and then click on 119 again. Once you do see MC 119 there, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. Now stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever! Not a single thing on this page whatsoever. Just wait 10 seconds. Just wait 10 seconds when you land on Add Focus. When you see this bar up at the top up here, wait 10 seconds. Then after 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear. Click on that red skip button in the top right and Forge will download on the bottom left. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser and now we need to move these files to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. In this Downloads file folder, right like so. And then in here you will find Forge and Controllable. Move these to your desktop, and then once these are on your desktop, we're going to start off with Forge. Right click on Forge, click Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here, or my icons are broken. They don't look like this. What do I do? Well, in that case, you want to go and download Java 17. Java 17 is required for not only controllable, but any Minecraft Java Edition mod or starting a Minecraft server. That's why this is how to download and install Java 4 Minecraft servers and mods because both require Java 17. Now for most of you, you'll be able to open up Forge at that point, but for some, you'll still need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. This is what will fix the jar files and make them actually look like jar files, right? It'll give them this jar logo. Nevertheless though, we can now right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the mod system installer where you want to click on Install Client and click OK. And now download, install, set up, do everything you need to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.19. Just kind of sit back and wait while it's doing this. There's nothing we can do to speed it up. We just have to wait. But once it does finish, you will get a successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.19. Keep in mind though, keep in mind that if you don't see this, you probably need to play Minecraft 1.19 with no mods or anything like that. Just open it up to the main menu and close out of it and then you'll be good to go. Once you do that, you'll be able to come back, install Forge like we just did and click OK. Now let's go ahead, delete Forge from our desktop and install Controllable. To do that, you wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit the play button, you wanna make sure that Forge is selected. Now for me, it's automatically selected. As you can see right there it is. If it's not for you, click this little arrow and select Forge from this list. But Nick, Forge isn't in that list. Well, in that case, don't worry. Click on installations and make sure modded is checked in the top right. You can see, check modded, there's Forge. Click play, click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge here or you don't have the 119 version of Forge, 
click new installation. I'm going to go ahead and name this Minecraft Forge 119, right like so. And then we're going to click on this version drop down box. In this drop down box, we want to select Forge 119. So release 119 Forge, right like so. Then we want to go ahead and change the resolution. I'm going to change that to 1920 by 1080. As you can see, you don't have to change your resolution. I'm just doing it so we can see once we get in game. The most important part of this page is having a version Forge selected. Click create in the bottom right. And now we have this Minecraft Forge 119 profile. Or we can click play and then click play again to open up Minecraft with Forge. That's the hard part. That's the hard part of installing controllable. The easy part is installing it, right? It's actually adding it to Minecraft. The hardest part is getting Forge and Minecraft open. Once Minecraft is open with Forge, you'll have this mods tab here, this mods button. Click on this mods button and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Now, I still have just enough items installed from a previous tutorial. Sorry about that. We can delete it. But what you want to do is drag and drop controllable from your desktop into this mods folder. Now, when you do that and come back to Minecraft, controllable won't be here. What you want to do is close out of Minecraft and then open up Minecraft again with Forge 119, right? You want to make sure Forge 119 is the profile you're playing. As you can see, right there it is. 119 under it. Click play, click play again. And now Minecraft will open up with controllable. So at this point, we can actually switch to the controller here. Now, this controller, uh, how should I how should I put this? It is a bit beaten up, right? It's, it's a very old controller for me. And uh, unfortunately, if uh, the USB is uh, connected wrong, it just disconnects completely from my computer. But I'm gonna try my best to keep my face cam here as well as uh, as well as well Minecraft up. Maybe we can kind of zoom in on the bottom right of the screen or something like that. So you can see the face cam a bit larger as well as see Minecraft. But once we join on in, controllable should kind of be active right away, right? We should automatically be able to use this. And boom, there you go. You can see I am moving this around here. I'm also gonna move the mouse off the screen so you can really see what I'm talking about. There it is, it's moving around. So let's say we wanted to play multiplayer. We can click on multiplayer here and we could move this on up to play.breakdowncraft.com and kind of select it once, come down to join server and click join server. So now we're joining Breakdown Craft. This is our Minecraft server, you can play on it. Survival, it's awesome. But we're now moving around with our controller on Breakdown Craft. And uh, some mods aren't allowed on Breakdown Craft. This one is, by the way, you can use this mod, no problem. If we want to drink a night vision potion, we can do that. We can also do things like build, right? So we can go ahead and uh, that's bedrock. We don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and just uh, place this down because we're in spawn and most people can't build here, but we can place that down and then we can also break it. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to break it with, but we can break it. You can also see in the bottom left, it's prompting us to hit Y to open our inventory. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, here is our inventory. We can click on things and drag them from where they are to where we want them to be. For example, we don't want this in our, our hot bar, I'm guessing, so we can move this over here right like so. And uh, yeah, that's how you can uh, get that going. We can hit Y to close the inventory. And now here we are, we have our sword. We can uh, go do some PVP if we want to. So awesome stuff there. This is how you can use this mod in Minecraft. We can also go ahead and disconnect and you can use this in single player. You're not limited to just multiplayer for this, right? So if we go up here to single player and then we join into this world right here, we able to use this as well, all right? So it's wherever you want to use it, you can use it, which is what's really, really cool about this. It works in everything, multiplayer, all this stuff. So right here it is and you can run around. You can do all sorts of stuff, move around. You can move through your inventory using the bumpers. It's the exact same control set as, uh, you know, default controls in uh, Bedrock Edition, right? So really, really cool stuff there. Um, yeah, I, I don't have I don't have anything. If you want to fly, you can double tap A. It, it just works. And, and that's what I think amazes me the most about this is it just works. So awesome stuff there. That's how you can use a controller in Minecraft Java Edition. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments, of course. And uh, that's how you can, yeah, get that go up and running. It's just an amazing mod. I wanted to share it, and I hope you enjoy it as well. See you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.